iron in the soul. What's up, my boy? This is Iron and Soul. About to save another video, man. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at TheKingJabez, as well as my website, TheIronAndSoul.com. It will all be greatly appreciated. Well, man, let's do some work. Let's talk about, you know what I mean? You knew this was coming, man. What's my name? Iron and Soul, right? Iron, big iron. We should talk about weights today, man. Let's, let's tap in. 10 life lessons that I have learned and that you can learn from consistently going to the gym. The weight room. You knew this was coming. My name is Iron, man. Come on, it's common sense. I've been posting videos over on Graham, my workouts for the last three years. You guys have been seeing me. I've been consistent, and you guys have seen my journey from being about 215, 220 to getting lean now, cutting up. So I've been on all sides of that you know, perspective of trying to you know, get lean, trying to bulk up. You know what I mean? So let me kind of just give you my journey and lessons I've learned along the way. But before I get into the 10 lessons, just kind of just how I got started with weights. There are a lot of videos online about men in prison lifting weights and how to get so buff without creatine, without protein, without any of that stuff. And you guys know about the honest story. You know, I'm from the streets. I don't try to hide that. I'm honest about that. Some of y'all don't like that, but that's who I am. You know, it's my background. I'm from the streets as well as the church. And so I bring both of those perspectives to my channel. And some of you like just that street edge and some of you like that church. And so I'm not a church boy and I'm not a game member. I'm, I'm a guy that's in the middle. You know what I mean? I've been on both sides of that spectrum. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you the real. That's how I'm coming. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm going to just hop right in. No cuts, no edits, nothing like that. Just like the baby on the beat. He hop on the beat, start rapping. I'm going to hop on his beat, start talking. You know what I mean? So let's get to it. 17 years of age, state pen, shorty. You know what I mean? And I was able to bulk up quickly. Within two years, I put on like 20 pounds. No exaggeration. People say it's not possible. It is possible. I've seen it, you know what I mean? So, when you're in the streets anyway, you're in the streets, you're smoking weed, drinking lean. I wouldn't drink lean, wasn't on lean back then, no way. You know what I mean? But drinking beers, drinking 40s, you know what I mean? Smoking cigarettes, smoking blunts, you know what I mean? That loud, all that. And you stop that, and now you're eating a consistent diet, you're sleeping every day, you're going to the gym, yard, that's what we called it, four or five times a week, and you're around guys who know what they're doing. If you're consistent and you're solid, it's only a matter of time you put muscle on. You know, so I was able to do that. So that was how my journey began. Then, once I left that, went on to college eventually. You know, not right away, but years from years later, I went to college, played college basketball, where I was very lean, 185. You know what I mean? Steph Curry body. Playing basketball was really on that level. And once I was done playing basketball, now as a man out here just working a regular job like anybody else, I got into the gym on that level. Like, you know what? I'm not playing basketball anymore. So let me go ahead and see what I can do with these weights. So I've had a long journey with this, you know, so I started going to the gym. I was going to Exports, which is a good gym. This was in downtown Chicago. My cousin was working there for a while. My cousin is very deep into the weights. Shout out to my cousin, Gorilla Season, Tayshawn. He has a big following over on IG. And my cousin, Gorilla Season, he's been into this for a while now. You know what I mean? So I was going there, um, was able to bulk up, went down that whole path of, you know what I mean, start 185, get up to like 205. Start taking weight gain and drinking the creatine and protein shakes. When I got to like 215, 220, wasn't really feeling healthy. Felt kind of lethargic with all those weight gain shakes and whatnot. So I had to, because in my mind at that time, you know, I'm just trying, I'm trying to be a gorilla. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get out here. I'm trying to be big, 210 plus, 220 plus. You know what I mean? And nothing wrong with that, by the way. You can do that if you do it the right way. And going from that to, you know, forget it. I'm going to get lean now. I'm going to go and get cut up. So I've been on both sides of that equation. So I want to talk about just some lessons I've learned along the way. So this has been a part of my life on some level, Brother Iron, since I was a 17-year-old young man in this state pen. You dig what I'm saying? So let's get to it. I got a piece of paper here. We're going to tap in. Number one, discipline. You learn a lot of discipline, about discipline, when you're lifting weights. Sometimes you don't want to go. You know what I mean? You got to be consistent. Even now, if I go to the gym, if I have a goal to go there four or five times a week, there are four or five times, there's probably two of those sessions where I don't want to go for whatever reason. You know what I mean? And then once I get there, get to the gym, put my bag down, have my um, protein, whatever it is, get that first set in, I'm cool. I'm good to go now. But it's just sometimes that battle of just getting there. 
And, and that's the discipline you learn lifting weights, you know, going through all of that over a period of time. So discipline is key. You know, any man who's good at anything is disciplined, whether it be an athlete, an entrepreneur, a rapper, a politician, a pastor, a Muslim, I don't care who you are. If you're trying to be good at anything as a man, it starts with discipline. Number two, and this is key. I'm going to use my paper here. Consistency. You got to be consistent. You can't go to the gym. I'm going to work out for two weeks. Take a week off. Take two weeks off. Work out for four weeks. Take a few weeks off. Go for four or five. Some of you guys go for 12 weeks straight. Get that, you know, get that good build. Start to build momentum. And then you fall off. So a lot of guys struggle to stay consistent in this area. Can you consistently go to the gym? Four years, five years. That's the test. I've been in my gym now consistently. This current gym. I mean, I've had many gyms I've been to over the years, but current. My I like to stay current. What I'm doing right now, not what I did ten years ago, but what am I doing right now? I have been in my gym right now, June first, three years consistently. I mean, so I think that's something worth. You know what I mean? Congratulating because you go in three three years consistently. There are days you didn't want to go. You know, you had your own personal problems. You have battles. I got a wife. I got children. I got a business, work. I'm doing YouTube videos, music. So I've been running. I've been running for the last three years. And this gym, man, it's just been like a place, like a sacred place for me. Like a place for me really to recreate myself. It's kind of like my time. Well, I'm not doing videos. I'm not dad. I'm not husband. I'm not ironing. So I'm not doing business, working, bills, all that. This is my time to just kind of just... Tap into my masculine energy, right? And just be that. It gives me a chance to, I'm going to be honest with you guys, to really um, experience that warrior spirit that, you, that I did when I was in the streets, as well as when I played uh, college basketball. That's why basketball is so appealing, or not just basketball, sports in general. That's why sports are so appealing for young men. It helps you to tap into that natural warrior spirit. And so I love the gym for that purpose. It gives me a chance to really tap into that young man energy. You know, I turn my music on, got my hip hop on, bass going, and I'm tapping in. And so it gives me a chance to do that. So consistency is another lesson from the gym. Number three, this is huge. Enduring pain. There was a sign at the gym. I didn't find out until recently. This is actually a military statement. I didn't realize this, but I've been saying this for years now. Pain is weakness leaving the body, Right. And that's from the military. I think that's the Marines, if I'm not mistaken. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. It's one of the branches. Military, Army, forget which one. It's from the military. And I tell myself that consistently for the last probably eight years. I've been telling myself that one. You know, I'm lifting weights, man. Pain's not every session. I ain't no crazy, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I say every session. Pain's, no, no. But from time to time, that's right. It's the pain's leave, that's the weakness leaving the body. You know, you, you're telling yourself, I'm getting stronger. That pain is a sign that I'm, I'm building something. And so it feels good as a man to be building something, even if you're not building muscle. Building a business, building a relationship with a woman, building up your profile on social media, whatever it may be that you're trying to do, it feels good as a man when you are laying bricks and putting something together that you can be proud of. You know, and your physique is a big part of that. And so enduring pain, that's going to be necessary with work. You know, that's going to be necessary when you got kids, you're a father, you got a wife, you know what I mean? You got just real life in general, spiritual warfare. You dig what I'm saying? Going through school, trying to get a new career, trying to level up. Whatever you're trying to do as a man, it's going to require you at some point to endure some pain. And so the weight room is a good way to learn a lesson as well. Let's get to it. Number four, working when you're tired. <laughs> that's just manhood 101 there, man. You know, I don't have a lot of energy right now, but I'm on camera talking to you guys. And so you have to work when you're tired. Do you think Brother Iron always feels like doing these videos? No, I don't always feel like doing an Iron and Soul video. I don't always feel like, you know, going to the gym. I don't always feel like working a 10 hour shift if I have to. But that's a part of manhood. We got to do sometimes what we don't feel like doing, you know, so working tired now. And, and that working tired really goes into this next point, And this is just as important. And I'm going to kind of go out of order a little bit here now. The need for rest, right? They, they go hand in hand. There, yes, there's a time. Some of you guys, you overdo this. There's a, there's a time to work tired and to push yourself for that 12-hour shift to get that bonus, to get that bread you need. I mean, if you're in a truck driving 10 hours, you know what I mean? If you are in the gym going crazy, you're trying to get you a modeling contract. There's a time to just go crazy. You know what I mean? Like, like Ace Hood saying when the sun's hustle hard. You know what I mean? 
Baby needs shoes. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hustle harder. You dig what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a time for that. You know, you know I know this on this. You know, you know I know what time it is out here, man. Hustle harder. I, I love this. That's on my playlist. I love this song. You dig what I'm saying? So there's a time to hustle harder, as Asa has said, but there's also a time to rest. And so what I have learned in my years of going to the gym as Brother Iron is that it's wise to take what they call a one week recovery week, where you take seven days and you deload. You don't do anything. And so I plan to do that. Once I finish this current 12 week session I'm on. So what I like to do, my regimen, I like to work out for 12 weeks. Right now I'm on week, starting week six tomorrow. And so I'm going hard for 12 weeks. At the end of that 12 weeks, I'm going to take one week off. Why? Because there's, there's a balance between hard work and recovery. You don't want to get hurt. And it's the same thing with life. When you're working a job, you need one day off. You need, you need a day where you don't do anything. Otherwise, you're going to burn out. And so that is also a lesson from the gym. There's a time to work hard, and that's a time to fall back and not do anything. There's a time to do your deadlifts, deadlifts, bench press, you understand me, pull-ups, dips, squats, you understand, leg extensions, whatever you do, all that stuff, whatever you're doing, dips, all of that, abs, you know, walking for those t- those seven to 10,000 steps, whatever you may be doing, it's a time for all of that. But there's also a time where you have to fall back and recover. Okay? Another lesson. Longevity. Getting the physique you want, it's going to take some time. You know, I've been working three years. I don't have the physique I want. The physique I want is going to probably take me another year. I'm okay with that. Maybe two years. But you got to set a, a high standard for yourself. A high bar. And so I look at this as a long-term goal. In other words, fitness is a journey in the process. It's not an event. So you're not going to look like the guy you see on IG that's cut up in a few months. You feel me? You may get there in two years. It depends on your genetics too. I know that too. It depends on the type of genetics you got, your diet, how often you're going to the gym, all those things. And some guys are just naturally stronger than other guys. That's just the reality of life. Everybody's not going to be Larry Wills. Okay? Everybody can't be C.T. Fletcher. Everyone can't be, I'm trying to think of some other guys right now, Arnold, legendary bodybuilder, you know what I mean? Um, and a lot of other guys can't think of their names right now, but you can't, everybody can't be that, you feel me? So it's okay to be there on your level, but whatever it may be, you know that it is a long-term process. So if you go to the gym, especially guys starting off, don't compare yourself to some guy that's been going for four or five years. You may be looking at a guy thinking, man, this dude built, and he's been in there five years. You feel me? He might have been there four years, six years, getting at it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I mentioned my cousin, Gorilla Season. He'd been lifting weights since we was in high school. You know what I mean? And he'd been at it ever since. You feel me? So you see these guys online and don't realize these guys sometimes have put in 5, 10, 15 years consistently getting to the weights. And so longevity, look at it as a long-term goal. That is a, a life lesson for the gym. Goal setting. I have how many I got left? One, two, three. That's seven. Goal setting. You set a goal. My goal at one point was to bulk up. Then I made a goal. Okay, I want to go ahead and get lean. I want to work on this stomach now. I want to work on this back. I want, you know, I want to get this full body physique that I want to have. And so you have a goal, whether that be, you know, to build strength or to, you know, personally, you want to get, you want to get cut up. You want to have like a model type body. Everybody has their own different goals. Some guys don't have a goal to get extremely strong. Some men go to the gym consistently just to have that chisel physique. And that's their goal. And so in life, if, if we don't set goals, it's an old saying, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. So if you're not trying to accomplish something intentionally, you're not going to get there. And so I think it's important for us as men to set goals for ourselves. As I mentioned in my, one of my recent posts on community, spiritual, physical, mental, spirit, soul, body, all across the board. That's what iron and soul is all about. It's about becoming strong as iron holistically. Not just in one area. You don't want to be physically strong and your mind messed up. Or you got a sharp mind, but you're weak physically. You feel me? I think a man, in my humble opinion, this is your brother Iron, in my opinion, a man should be strong physically as well as mentally and spiritually. In my humble opinion. That's a man. Not just one dimensional. So many of you guys are one dimensional. All across the board. Be a strong man. At least that's what I teach on my channel. You dig what I'm saying? So, number eight. We'll keep this moving. I won't keep you too long. Learning from other men. You learn from other men. That's a life lesson from the gym. Most guys who are in the weights, you're watching some YouTube content. You got somebody on the gram you're following. 
I have been watching a number of people over the last 10 years, a number of guys that, that are deep into the fitness business. Um, there's one right now over on IG, Dream World. This guy over there going crazy. This joker will be lifting 315. He, he in the gym playing. He called, he says, in fact, that's his bio. The gym is my playground. This joker had 315 on the bench press, and he'll bring it down one way and do it up, just in the gym playing. 405 pounds. 500 pounds to the back, he walking. Five pounds back, he, he drinking a cup of coffee or something. He just, he in there playing around. I mean, extremely strong. You know, so you watch people like him and others, Larry Wills. I can't think of all these guys', guys names right now, but I've watched so many guys over the last 10 years. I can't think of all of them right now. But are probably about 15, 20 fitness content creators that give a lot of good information. And so just as I learn from them in, in the area of waste, and even recently with Brandon Carter, shout out to Brandon Carter, recently. You know, me he says he eats sardines for breakfast every day. What brother I got right here? Can of sardines. Makes perfect sense. This right here is 20 grams of clean protein. I had one already. It's the second one. That's 40 grams right there. 40 grams of clean protein. I had a protein say 42 grams. That's 80 grams right there. I try to get 200 grams a day. I'm at 190, so I try to get at least 200 grams of protein in. Try to bulk back up to about 200 even. You dig what I'm saying? Lean. Get the six pack and then have 200 pounds the right way, not the wrong way like I did before. But the right way. And so what am I saying? This is just one example of a thousand of me consistently learning from other men. As I've said before, I'll say it again. Iron sharpens iron. Men build men. You dig. Just like that. So you learn from other guys. Let's get to it. Number nine. Overcoming adversity. You're going to run to those walls in the gym. You're going to get to a point where you can't get a certain PR. You know what? You want to get the 315 bad. You can't get to it. It takes you a few months. You get crushed a few times on that, on that, um, you, you know, doing some um, squats and you got to drop the weight. You go on the bench press and you can't get the weight up. You dig what I'm saying? You do a deadlift. You can't pick it up and you feel kind of embarrassed. You, you're going to have those times when you run into those walls. You know, you might get injured where you may have to take some time off. You may be out of the, the gym for four or five months, six months to a year. Who knows? Anything can happen. So in life, as men, we have to consistently overcome adversity. Bad things are always happening. All the time. You know what I mean? So, Bible for a second. If you faint in a day of adversity, your strength is small. That's what the Word of God says. You know what I mean? You know, I will take you from the Word of God to hip-hop to the pen. to the, I'm just getting all across the board. Holistic. So, in the Word of God, if you fall when things get tough, that is showing your level of strength. And so, a man has the ability to stay thorough when things are not working out the way it won't work out. You dig? Number 10. And closing with this one. Focus while surrounded by distractions. When you are in a gym, it's going to be a lot of distractions. You're going to have, let's just cup of water, bottle of water. You're going to have other guys watching you. They might be hating on you. You're going to have women up in there. They up in there with the short shorts on and they, they up in there, tight clothes on. Right next to you, smiling, you know, shot. Oh, man, I know you lift that. I mean, once I was in lifting some weights. I think it was like 305. And um, white woman next to me, boy, them, them um, blue eyes got big. I, know, whoa, I know you look that way. I know you're that strong. They start watching you. They get curious. When they see you consistently in there, lifting, on your grind, staying consistent. And so a part of your journey in the fitness game is staying focused while you have those distractions around you. So stay in, in your masculine frame. Focus on your goals. Keep yourself strong physically, mentally. And that is a solid lesson we can learn from a gym. So that's just 20. That's just 10. 10 lessons in 20 minutes is what I'm trying to say. So 10 lessons within 20 minutes um, of talking to you guys about this content. And I want you all to really make the gym a part of your life. What I'm trying to think to say as I close this and to kind of summarize all of the information. Make this part of your life. You know what I mean? Let the gym be a place where you can recreate yourself, where you can begin to tap into your masculinity. Get that frustration out. Clear your mind out. Have yourself starting your day off right where you feel like you've accomplished something for the day already. You know, it's nothing like getting up early in the morning, going to the gym, taking a shower, putting your clothes on, and now being ready for the day on that level. You know, so giving yourself that sense of accomplishment right away. <clears throat> and just having that overall self-confidence from being physically fit, being in good shape. When you're in the gym, you feel better about yourself. You, you got your chest out. You, you, your clothes fit different. People can tell. People can look at you until you work out. Okay, you can tell when a guy's in the gym. And so you want to have that look, especially as it get hotter. We out here with t-shirts on, you know what I mean? And people can tell, okay, this guy fit. And that gives you a certain level of respect 
when you see it in another man and when people see it in you, they'll give you that same respect. And so I want to give you this word of, of just um, wisdom on this Saturday afternoon. I trust you guys will value this and get some wisdom from this, some free game for you on this Saturday. This is your big brother, Iron Soul. Stay strong out here, guys.